Welcome to another Eric Waite Whiskey Study. Um, in addition to the core range of Lagavulin, the 8, the 12, the 16, and the Distiller's Edition, they also produce two special bottlings, one in the month of May that they release for Fish Ale, and one for September, which is the Lagavulin Jazz. This is the Lagavulin Jazz 2017. The Fish Shield and the Jazz both come in sort of these little souvenir bags, this one having a uh, jazz player on it, playing a saxophone. Uh, the Lagavulin 12, the uh, Fish Shield Edition, and uh, the Jazz are bottled at a higher ABV. Um, the Fish Shield and the Jazz, for the most part, you, if you want a bottle, you gotta get from the distillery. You gotta go to Isla in order to get them. However, there are a few uh, retailers that do bring bottles off the island but of course you're gonna pay a little bit more for those. Uh, before I get into this whiskey, here are my notes on the Jazz Festival and this bottle. On Isla, there is an annual Jazz Festival in September that takes place at venues across the island, including various distilleries, such as Bowmore's Round Church and Brew Kaladi Hall. The festival is promoted by Jazz Scotland and the Isla Arts Association, and is sponsored by Lagavulin Distillery. For the event, Lagavulin Distillery produces a limited special release of only 6,000 bottles available for purchase from the distillery's on-site shop. Lagavulin has been a sponsor of Isla Jazz Festival since 2010, and produced its first commemorative bottling for the event in 2011. The 2017 Lagavulin Isla Jazz Festival expression was matured in a combination of refill American oak hogsheads and first fill American oak barrels. The non-age statement cast strength release is bottled at 57.6% alcohol by volume and available for only visitors to the distillery uh, who will have a chance to buy the special edition which is limited to two bottles per customer. Alrighty, so I've already gotten past the shoulders down into uh, the bottle uh, uh, body of this. Uh, I brought back two bottles of this uh, during my June 2018 trip to Scotland, which I uh, went to Isla. And I've really, really uh, been in enjoying this. Visually, looks a lot like all the other Lagavulin, sort of a pale yellow in color on the nose. Um, it's a medium to medium plus intense aromas of. It's got the classic Lagavulin uh, lemon, but it also has a little bit of lime. And there's an interesting slight, and this may sound off-putting to some, there's a slight sort of a kerosene petrol uh, character to it. Interwoven, it has uh, the classic uh, chocolate and smoke, perhaps a little bit of tar, hints of spice, a little bit of maybe cinnamon, uh, chocolate, uh, a little bit and a salty brininess. A little bit of uh, tar. Hints of earth. Some uh, dusty cocoa powder. All right, on the palate. Hmm. On the palate, the nose is confirmed. Texturally, the whiskey is silky, smooth. It doesn't have any major arcs in terms of the ranges of flavor, but you do get the nice fruit up front, sort of lemon and lime citrus. Um, you're not tasting any kerosene, although you do get it on the nose. Um, you get a little bit of uh, spice to it, a little bit of pepper, that cocoa note interwoven with uh, chocolate and sort of a, uh, a puff of smoke. This one has a little bit more of a tingle, I would say, a little bit more of a bite than uh, the other previously mentioned, the 12 and the uh, fish, uh, fish eel edition. And it's fairly comparable. The differences between uh, this bottle and those, probably fairly subtle. 
Uh, I would say main thing I'm picking up on this is, is the coconut, the coconut, the cocoa note, and that sort of a little, slight little petrol nose on the no, uh, on uh, on the nose, and a, that little bit of a lime. Hmm. Really delicious list whiskey. I'm gonna give this a solid 92 points. Point score wise, it is, you know, neck and neck with the Lagavulin 12 and the, the Fish Shield. What I really need to do is do a side-by-side -side shootout between these three whiskeys. So I'm gonna do a live stream um, in which uh, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side with these three bottles and see which one is the winner. And as much as possible, I'm gonna see if I can do it blind to see which one I prefer between the three. All right, if you subscribe to this channel, I wanna thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would really appreciate it. If you would subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social networking channels. And uh, if you ever get a chance to go to Isla, you're definitely gonna wanna pick this up because if you try to pick one of these up off the island, you're gonna pay a, a lot more for it. All right, that's it for this review. Until next time, cheers. Hey, if you like my review, be sure to check out these other whiskey videos.